Hey guys, so today we'll be doing a lily pet painting and so um so I really actually started doing the video and then like my iPad fell and the whole thing just got wah, bonkers. So all I did was literally um here just to show you. All I did was go ahead um grab some bl dark blue, add some white to it and and create a little more of a lighter blue and then add that and make big globs of that. So I'm going to add my globs cuz my globs kind of dried there. There we go. So now that's all I did. Supplies you'll need water, paint, that, and some brushes, and a napkin of it. Or a paper towel. And I got my little stuff in there. So that's what you're going to need. Now Yay! let's keep going with our painting. Okay, ready? Let's keep going. So all I did was pretty much do blue, white, create a lighter blue, and then um, just add globs of that lighter blue. So, because we're going to use. We're gonna be blending the lighter blues with something with the darker blue. So now you're gonna grab your normal regular dark blue, just a little, like a little tap on your brush. And you're gonna go ahead and lightly blend it in. Blend it in. Blend it in with the paint and make it a little more like there's a, these are like gonna be like C's. I'm adding more of a I'm adding more depth to my picture by doing this. This will add more depth to your picture and create a more interesting visual. This does not look good so far. I know. Maybe yours does. Mine does not. I'm going to say that straight up forward. Mine does not. Um, I don't like it so far. But it will get better. I rem it, it will get better. Because the lily pads will cover some of our mistakes that we're going to do in this painting. Uh, I forgot to show you guys the original. So um, if you want to see the original, skip to the end of the video. Because I'm going to show the original at the end of the video. So if you want to see the original, skip to the end of the video, and then you can start painting. Um, so there, mine's pretty like streaky and weird, weird, very weird. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe a little more blue, just a little more like dark blue, and try not to have water in your brush. That's why we have the paper towel. We're gonna go ahead, still I'm adding a little more streaky blues in there. The dark blue creates a streaky pattern, so you want your paint to be wet, or it will not work out for you nope 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 but if it, if your if your paint was not dry and your blue is just like sitting there go ahead grab that lighter blue and go over with that lighter blue over like the dark blue and that'll create streaks if you if your paint had dried okay now we're gonna wait i'm gonna wait a minute for you guys to go catch up a little just wait a minute so go ahead clean your brushes okay so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you guys what we're going to be mixing next. So as you see, I have my dark blue still there. So I can go ahead and not ha have to add more blue. So my yellow is a little watercolory, but that's okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a ton of yellow and just a little bit of blue. You're going to create a light green. We, we're going to expand it from that light green farther with um, our colors. Wow, the yellow is looking really good. I like that yellow. I'll show you guys after I'm done. It looks really cool. <laughs> oh no, the yellow's gone everywhere. Okay, so let's just mix that in, create our light green. I'll show you guys after I'm done because I can't really show it on camera while I'm doing it. I guess I could. Because I just don't want to put my. See, so I'm just creating this light green. Wow, look at that. Created light green there. Looks a little yellowy on camera, but it's light green. It looks yellow on camera. <laughs> it is light green. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take a big brush. I'm gonna go ahead and change my brush. Um, I'm gonna take a medium brush. My I have one that I use for like petals and like stuff like lily pads and stuff. Um, I have a brush for that, so I'm gonna use that brush. You can go ahead and use your large brush or small brush. I don't care. Um, just make sure not to make them too big. So I'm gonna use this medium sized brush over here. It's a little fuzzy, but it's okay. Got pink on it. <laughs> So now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and dip it in the light green that you made, like this, so, and you're going to start creating little lily pads. If your paint isn't dry, don't press too hard. Or go ahead, use a, a hair dryer and dry it all up. I have a hair dryer with me, but I don't feel like using it, so let's just keep going. <laughs> So yeah, I was gonna, sh I was gonna, sh I was gonna demonstrate using a hair dryer, but I'm like, that's too much noise now. So I'm like, nope, no hair dryer today. Um, 
there. So you're gonna create as many little bunches of lily pads as you want. We're gonna add more different colored of lily pads. So don't like go and add a lot of the light green ones too much. We're gonna expand with the light green ones. So if you made a lot of the light green and you're panicking like, I'm wasted paint, it's totally okay because we are going to actually use that light green more. So it is totally okay. As you can see, I've made a ton. It's just like going everywhere. Cause mine's a little watery. Cause my little ye my yellow is like a little watercolory. Cause I add water to my paints, my paints when I first get them to make them last a little longer. So my <laughs> so my yellow is a little more watery. Those people outside saying hi. I was like, bang. They were just little neighbors. They were neighbors together. Um, they were neighbors. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to keep, I'm going to add four bunches. I think I want to add four bunches of lily pads. So we're going to, I'm going to make a little one here. It's a lily, little bunch here. There. Then I'm going to create a little one over here in the corner. You're going to keep painting little stuff. This does not look like lily pads. I know, they don't look like lily pads. Try to make them like ovals too. Don't make them... You can make some circles to create a more realistic and not like fully ovals, but you gotta create more ovals. There. So I've got this humongous thingy dingy going on here. I'm just gonna randomly add one in the middle. So it kinda looks like it kind of joins in this little one here. I randomly added a lily pad in the middle. <laughs> okay, um, so as you can see, I've got my lily pads all lilied up. What? That made no sense, sorry. Uh, so I got all my light green lily pads. Now what you're gonna do, you see that light green? If you have light green left, go ahead, good job. But if you don't and you ran out of that light green already, and like you used it all up, it's, uh, it's totally okay. Go ahead, you don't need to make light green. Just go ahead and mix that blue and yellow together. You don't need to use that, reuse that light green. I'm gonna use the light green because I have it, so and I don't wanna waste that light green. So that's why I'm painting this right now. So I've used that light green, I added some blue to my light green to create a darker green. Now you're going to use that darker green and add a darker green to our lily pads. Like so. To create that darker green. It is totally cool if it blends in with your blue at the bottom because it creates more of a transparent lily pad, which is really cool. So do not freak out. Do not. But make sure that most, some of them are at least, you know greeny darker greeny and so you're gonna keep going with this and paint all your dark green lily pads I am just you, you want to try to overlap on some it creates it, it helps your eye move around and look at all those like different overlaps it's really nice to look at so now you're gonna keep going and paint these darker lily pads with your dark green that you have so I'm starting to run out of my dark green, so I may not have enough. That is okay if you are also running out. Um, you can just add like one or two in there. I think I'll survive actually, I got enough. And if you did run out and like you can't make that same shade again and you've been struggling with that, um, it's okay. You can, um, you can just add a few with that like very, very little bit. You can add a tiny bit of water, maybe not look, a little bit of water to it to create it make it a little more like you know like it creates a little more of that color so as you can see I got my green ones darker green ones now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna take the um, so we're gonna go ahead glance a quick look at the original because I want you guys to see how like you could add improve your pictures and um, yeah let's look at the original one too uh, where is the original one it should be right around here give me a minute let me grab it it's in the same it's in the same notebook so like I'm freaking out <laughs> like I'm trying to grab it so this is what I've been painting so this is the original painting it's just the uh, lily pads and the thingy dingy here okay so as you can see, I've had light greens, dark greens too. So now, as you can see, we have these painted. And so uh, if you if you didn't get a glimpse of what 
the um what what the <laughs> the memory memory game. Why am I saying memory game out of nowhere? <laughs> um if you didn't get a glimpse of the original picture, there we go. Um you can go ahead and kind of skip back in the video. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and now um start with your white. You're gonna go ahead add just a dollop of white onto your painting. You're not gonna need much of white. We're gonna add some water to it. Cause we don't, it's cause my white's a little thick and I don't like painting lily pads with thick white or like something like like this with thick white cause I don't think it's just like good. So I'm gonna, I added a tiny little bit of water. Now wait, see how much more it created with that little dollop there, so. You're gonna take that white and you're gonna go ahead and create white lily pads. It's really cool if it blends in because it's creating more shades of green. If it blends in with your green, other green lily pads, it's creating more shades of green, which is gonna add more depth to your lily pads. So it's okay if it starts blending together. That is very good, actually. I want my, some of mine are blending, some of mine are not. That is totally okay. So with this white, you should really be starting to overlap with this white. Starting with the white, you should really start overlapping. See, so I'm gonna keep going. See, so I'm overlapping there and here a lot too. So that's why we're gonna keep going and till we got all my petals in. White is going to be our last color, and then we will add our little flowers, and we are almost done. Yeah, you're almost done. This is a beginner painting, so if you're a beginner, go ahead. You're, you're good. You should be able to do this, you know. Uh, I should have said that at the beginning of the video. Now, I just started, so, like, I'm still... I should write a script. No, that's, that, that's too much work. I should just think about what I should say, you know. Before I started. Whatever. So, as you can see, I have my white lily pads everywhere, and they're looking beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, because I want these... You want your um, paint to dry a little. Um, so I'm going to use a hair dryer. Please mute your volume right now, right at this second. Please mute your volume because hair dryer is coming. Okay, let me, let me, let me see if I need to plug it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start hair, hair drying my painting. And do mute your volume, please. Or, um, yeah, it's going to be a disaster here. You're gonna hear a lot of stuff. I never plugged it. Let's do this. Oh, I know why. Not that loud. It's okay, um, you don't need your painting to dry completely, but if you get it to dry completely, yeah, that's good too. Um, I'm trying to get like the really wet spots dry. Okay, so I've, um, um, the hair dryer's gone. I'm done. My hand's here. We're good. Hair dryer's gone. You can go ahead and unmute, um, yourselves. Or, like, you can listen to the video now. Okay, so, now I got my painting all dry, dry. Yay! So, oh, I have water on my desk. Whatever. Um, so, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and, um, Grab your red, red, and if you have some of that white left over, good job. Uh, it's okay. 
Um, you can go ahead, put some red on your palette. I don't have that white left over, so it's okay. Um, so I got a dollop of red right there. See that? You see that red? So I got that red, and I'm going to add another dollop of white next to it. A dollop. I call them dollops. No, like, that's, like, the word I'm reminded of. I'm going to add, like, four dollops of, of white for, like, one dollop of red. So I have four dollops of, well, maybe two or three dollops for one red. It's spreading out, so it looks very, you know, a lot. So now I'm going to go ahead, mix those up, mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy. I like to mix, mix, mix. See how much, like, three dollops makes this pink, stark pink. You don't want it to be too dark, like... This is a pretty good, now see, see that, see that, see this, um, pinky, this is a good pink here, this is about the pink you would want, this is the pink you'd want, this pink right here. Um, you can make it maybe a little darker, I could have made it a little darker, but I worry that if I add too much red to it, it would add, like, it would make it, like, too dark, so, it's okay. Now what you're gonna do is... Okay, I'd paint like little petals, like just like this. Yeah. Paint like this line. Like that. Look at that. Dude, just I just made four lines and I made like lilies. It's like a lily. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. So you can make as many lilies as you want. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add two over here. Four. You can add different um number of petals. I'm just adding four to mine. You can add even just three. Hey, three looks good. I'm gonna add three in some of them. I'm gonna add four in some of them. Mine is gonna be like three or four. That's all mine is. Because I still want them to be a good amount of petals there. Mm. It looks good. I'm gonna add three in this one too. I'm gonna add two to each one. I'm just only, we're gonna only add one here. I'm gonna be the lonely one. Actually, no, let's add one like all the way on the edge here. I'm gonna add like a, it's like five petals. Okay, so I've got all my lilies done. They're just little square thingies here. They're just like thingy. These are like footprints, like pink footprints. I just realized. I'm gonna go ahead, wipe your brush. And I remember a pink you made. Um, if you have leftover, yay. So I have leftover. So I'm gonna add a drop. Of red to that a whole drop of red i know it's going to create a dark red a dark pink um or if you already had a really really dark pink now take light pink add white to it if you already had a dark pink add white to it but if you had a light pink add red to it we want to create two colors so see how this one's a little teeny weeny bit darker it's a teeny weeny bit darker i haven't made it too dark i only added like a drop it's not that bad but it's pretty good pretty good pretty good okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this pink and you're gonna really apply that on there it can't be too like away from that same color that you had before you're just gonna add a little bit of this color to the like the bottom stems like that you don't want to go to the tips you see where it kind of starts to separate before it separates that's where you want to add them like I'm just gonna go ahead, see, I'm just adding it like this. So this is really like showing it up. Or if you don't like the pink, since if since mine, the pink is not wanting to show up, I'm gonna go in just with pure red. I'm just gonna go in with pure red. You can clean your brush a little. You can even just mix a teeny tiny bit of that pink in with the red. Create a really, really dark pink. This is like almost red. It may look like red to you guys. It's like a light it's like a light red but like pink still so here you're gonna i i since mine didn't show up on my flowers if yours did yeah mine did it so i created another color and there we go there there we go they show up on my flowers now they want to show up okay so i'm gonna go ahead add those at the stems of my flowers almost like the part that kind of folds them together i would say you don't need to do this, this is optional i just thought it looks pretty cool so I've added these at the stem of my little lilies. Not the pads, the lilies. These are the little lilies. Um, oh, we have the other ones there. Oh, there. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and wash our brush again. 
Do 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 do. And now what you're gonna do is now you're gonna make brown. So <laughs> I have all the primary colors with me right now, so that's why. Um, what you're gonna need for to make brown is red, blue, and yellow, and a teeny tiny bit of black is all you're gonna need, and maybe even white. Just all the colors is what you're gonna need for brown. Depends on like what shade of brown you want. I'm gonna create a little darker brown. So let's do this. I don't know how how this is gonna work, but oh, I forgot a flower. I'm sorry, flower. I forgot you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, I fixed him. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some. Okay, I'm, I don't wanna like put it on canvas. Oh, I'm gonna have to. So. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and add some, I'm gonna make it in the middle so that you guys can see, that yellow. So where my colors are they gonna be. So I've added my yellow. You're just gonna add a drop of everything except yellow. Just a drop of blue, just a drop of red. We're gonna first see what that's gonna make. And then we can go ahead and add whatever we want after that. You only wanna add a drop because those two colors are really, really strong colors. So we don't want too much of those colors. That may change our brown to a weird brown. Now, as you can see, mine made like a purpley. So that means you're gonna need a teeny tiny bit more of blue. We'll need more blue for that part. I've kind of added some blue in there. Let me mix some of that blue in there. Okay, let's let's mix some blue in there. Blue, blue. I got some blue. Okay. Let um, me mix some blue in there. And see, it's starting to create a brown. Mine was like a really like, not even chocolatey brown. It's like a purpley. Now this is a good brown. Um, it's actually more purpley now. <laughs> Should have added red. I'm gonna remember that dark pink I made. I'm gonna add some of that dark pink in there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just changing this whole thing. Let's add some pink. Okay. It's made something like a brown. It's pretty good. It's, it's enough. Only need a little, so. You're going to take the brown that you made, whatever brown you got, it's okay. Just add them at the bottom. Just like add a dot at the bottom. A dot. A dot. A dot. Another dot. Another dot. Okay, so I got my dots on there. Okay, I got all of them. I thought I missed something. Okay, so I got all my petals. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need your black. You're going to take your black. And you're going to take your brown. That you made. So you made a lot. Yay. Um, you're going to take that black and brown you made. Um, well, you know, the black. I didn't make black, but I made brown. You're going to add. Ow. <laughs> you're going to add a, a drop or two. I'm going to add two drops because we want a dark color. We want a dark color for our lily pads. Um, so you're gonna go ahead, mix that black in with that brown that you made. Mixing, black is a very strong color. You might be thinking, why did you only add two drops to make such a dark color? Black is a very dark color. So you always want to first add little and then add more if you want. Black is a very, very strong color. Black is actually not a color itself. Cause if you put black in like, I think it's like warm water or something, it like shows different colors. Black is not totally black. Black is made up of all the colors and creates a really darker color. So what you're gonna do with this black is start creating little frames, literally. Just kind of go around and create some messes there and here. So I'm just creating some rings and messes here and there. Try not to get you on your lily pads. Do not mess with your lily pads. Okay, uh, no, the lilies, not the pad. You can mess with your lily pad. Don't mess with the lilies. Try not to get anything on the lilies. Um, yeah. Well, I guess if you wanted, you could have done this like before you done the lilies, but I like to do it after because now I know that where I can do it and not where I want to do it. Cause black, cause pink is kind of hard. It's kind of hard to cover pink with black. Cover black with pink. I'm sorry. Cover pink with black. I can cover pink with black whenever I want. Okay. Uh, so that's why we want to do it after we do our flowers, but it's okay now. It's fine. 
So see, I've been creating quite a few messes. I just got one butthole left to make. So, um, it's adding more of a, what do you say, like a good, um, you don't need to do this. If you liked your picture, go ahead. You don't need to do this, but, um, yeah. So a tip I always give to painters if they're watching a video to do something is watch the whole thing before you do it. Because, like, see how I just took you by surprise? Like, if you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. Well, I just told you, you didn't need to do it. So that's some a tip that you guys could follow is to first watch the video and then do it if it's like a tutorial video. Like this. So now um, your painting's done. That's all. You're done. If you want, you can make your lilies bigger. I think I overdid the black. That's okay. So that is it for our painting. Um, let me just show you guys a little more better. 